know, being able to explore all the possibilities of your imagination, that is what being a creator is. Being a creator is awesome because it opens up endless possibilities when it comes to creating the next big story for film or the story for the stage or the story for television. You know, it's, it's kind of allows you to open your mind to a lot of things. You know how hard I work for my career. And I'm not gonna let anything or anyone come between me and my career. I'm the highest paid and the most powerful woman in my division. Going to school for script writing, shadowing other writers and directors and producers out there, going to acting classes, <laughs> all things I never had. I basically taught myself how to write and act by YouTube videos, reading books, you know, reading a couple of scripts, all the things that taught me how to become a very great, powerful writer. I am Cortez Entertainment have produced many productions from talk shows to stage plays to short films, feature films, and web series and still producing more to this day. So many people out there think they cannot write a script. I say yes you can. All you need is determination, motivation, and a story. Stories are all around us. Watch the news, read the newspaper, read a magazine, your next big story is right there. Your next big story could be right there in your family. The name I Am Corte comes from simple. I Am Corte. I Am Corte, the founder of I Am Corte Entertainment. Are you excited to tell us about these things? Very excited. <laughs> and thank you for the beautiful introduction. <laughs> <once again. laughs> right. So, this study was conducted in January of this year. Mm -hmm. And it says that nine out of every 10,000 people in Texas are homeless. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And believe it or not, Dallas is the city that has the highest population in Texas of oh, homeless wow. people. Okay. So, roughly 25,000 people in Texas are homeless. Now this topic is so uh, important to talk about because many people are an illness mm -hmm. or a broken leg away from being an addition to the homeless population, mm -hmm. right? 
So with that being said, let me take you back to uh, 1973 in my hometown of Chicago, right? Mm -hmm. So uh, po a political group was started called ALEC, A-L-E-C. It's called the American Legislative Exchange Council. Now what this council consists of are politicians and corporate uh, representatives, mm -hmm. right? Mm -hmm. So these two entities meet, the corporation present bills or laws they want passed into legislation mm -hmm. and believe it or not the politicians accommodate those laws so in hindsight america is ran by corporations okay. oh, most definitely. so that segues me into my topic of the causes of homelessness which is a hot topic of the minimum wage mm -hmm. okay mm -hmm. so <laughs> which hasn't been raised since 2008 it went from 655 to 7 25, I believe. Yes, Paint the picture. And it's still stagnated to this day. Mm -hmm. So we're talking about 13 years, right? Mm -hmm. So with that being said, I want to ask the beautiful panel, you guys and the viewers, what do you guys think about the minimum wage? Do you think it should be raised? Do you think uh, it doesn't matter or it should stay the same? I think it should be right. Absolutely. I, right. Right. I remember when I made 725, it was going so <laughs> real. Okay. Right. Okay. I listen. A little $400 every two weeks wasn't going to do nothing for me. Right. right. And I'll say for me, like when, when I think of homelessness, a lot of times I used to think that it was just people who, you know, life ha happened to them and they were homeless for different reasons. But I never looked at like work in society, people who are making the bare minimum. A lot of them were sleeping in cars too. You know mm -hmm. what I mean? Right. Mm -hmm. And so I never looked at it like that until I just, you know, of course, along with time, I, you know, come to know that definitely minimum wage can, a, a lot of times, I mean, you know, one paycheck away, there's a lot of people of one paycheck away from becoming homeless. Yeah. You know, just because of the, the pay rate and all that. And they definitely need to, I believe they definitely should have passed. I think they were talking about a bill where they were going to increase minimum wage but it didn't get passed yeah. and i'm yeah. thinking my goodness that should have been a no-brainer right you know right and also well st statistics show that 1675 is considered a living wage in america yeah but wow. i mean, still didn't pass it you see what i'm saying let's right. not even talk about the taxes they take out of the paycheck oh, hello like, oh. off of whatever you making hello you for medicaid uh what's the other ones uh the federal reserve and um insurance some type of insurance but what are those taxes going to though that's a great question yeah, you spoke about you spoke about the uh the united states being the, uh being ran by corporations let's just take it a little further the united states is a corporation oh yeah a business. <laughs> yeah Indeed. And, and with that being said when you talk about taxes just think about this you say you're gonna go pay you're gonna go buy your house right you say you're gonna, you're gonna pay the house off you pay the house off supposedly but if you don't pay no property taxes what happens to that house they cease it mm -hmm. so do you really ever own your home mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So oh, go ahead, go ahead. I, I, to me, it just sounds <laughs> like he just said we're paying to live. Basically, and that's basically, basically what it is. My thing is, if you can pass a trillion dollar bill, trillion, trillion. come on now, trillion. this ain't hundred thousand million. This is trillion. Bring it right down. We on our what third stimulus? Third. And a fourth is in the and midst of being top. Right. So if you can pass a trillion dollar bill, why can't we raise? minimum wage i really feel it's because america knows that we run off of temporary satisfaction mm. Mm. Tem to the choir. temporary to the what? The back. That? <laughs> to the i really the feel is that as if america knows we run off of temporary satisfaction Listen. because i mean let's just be honest democrat republican and nothing but bloods and crips and suits you feel me so at the end of the day the government the same bird. they're working together and my in my opinion this is what i was talking about with my friend the other day we were conversating about the minimum wage and how it was it was enticed and it was included in the bill mm -hmm. but i really feel as if it was to run up the campaigns because mm -hmm. that's what people really need that's what people really want but it was like a like a rope you in kind of deal almost yeah. you know because it was like yeah we'll give you the stimulus right because we know y'all gonna spend it we'll get it right back we know you gotta give it, we'll give it around rent, you feel me? We'll give it around, you know, whenever you gotta pay your bills, because all that money, like you say, it's a corporation. It runs through everybody, you feel me? Right. 
recirculated. Mm -hmm. Right. Mm -hmm. Right. Okay. So I want to just throw something out there. So many CEOs, right? They they make five, ten, fifteen, twenty million, whatever it is. So if they would decrease their salary, maybe say two million or whatever, that would probably account for the minimum wage increase, right? So what do you guys think about that uh, topic? I agree. Man, that would be a great gesture. <laughs> it's too yeah. close to right, though. Right. It would right. be a great gesture. See, and, but that's a problem, though. See, it's, it's too close to right. right. That's because we know, uh, come on, it's, it's, it's America. I mean, the money that we spend on wars, we're literally in homelessness and poverty mm -hmm. <laughs> in America today. The amount of money that we spend on wars, taxes, right? Mm -hmm. America's a fear-based corporation. Right. You know, through dominance and power, we'll give you liberty and freedom. Mm -hmm. Right. Right. But also, so naturally, of course, minimum wage or finances is one of the reasons why a person become homeless. Of course, we know that, right? But what about the people who, like, are in jail or something and they society doesn't give them, like, a second chance at life? They can't find a job, you know, and they're expected to survive in the world. And some of them come out homeless or, you know, in yeah. different situations as well you know what i mean so there's right. so many different facets to how a person can become homeless yeah. which is you know very unfortunate you know mm -hmm. what i mean yeah with prison that's just a, a cycle right mm -hmm. another money making machine yeah right 13th amendment uh, corporation three strikes and you're yeah. out part yes. <laughs> yes. 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 yes yeah i wonder what department we in y'all if we're a corporation what department we work in <laughs> that's a great question i, I mean know. honestly think about it because me personally if you relate that to spirituality there's no there's no color there's not there's not even like you know us and them like it's it's the human race mm -hmm. so i feel like given given emphasis on color right and 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 what you what domination you are oh this is the group of asians this is a group of white people you got blacks because that's the easiest way to separate people right i mean think about it like, people here oh it's the black people come. It's, it's black people over there it's a it's a instant like oh okay because it's systematically programmed for you to think that way mm -hmm. right yeah. and then, i just want to ask you real quick you said something about dallas being uh having the highest number of homelessness because mm -hmm. i'm from oklahoma in texas. In texas. oh in texas. in texas oh okay so i'm from oklahoma and i didn't know you know moving here i mean i know i see you know homeless people mm -hmm. out there but i didn't know that that they you know had the strongest numbers yes that's, so that's so so do you guys believe think that minimum wage will be increased or is it just a hot topic that they talk about just to get people you know? i agree with what senpai said and for the fact that they're 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 stay, they stay in talks of you know, me, me, him, my co-workers speak about it. They stay on top of politics. The, the 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 goal is to remove the middle class. So there's only rich and bottom of the barrel. That's how they want it. So nothing in the middle. You can't be fifty percent. You got to be either or. Either or. Right. Mm. And the I think, and I'm gonna say this. I feel like it's if they do give us what we deserve in regards to the minimum wage, the price that you would pay to live. It's gonna be out skyrocket. of the world. Okay, I agree with that. Yeah, you don't have to lead back to homelessness. Hello, right? right. right. Yeah. Absolutely. It's so a game, you're... monopoly. So what you're saying is, yeah, if they raise the minimum wage, they're gonna pass that on to the consumer. Mm -hmm. yeah. Everything gonna be high. Your milk gonna be six dollars oh, yeah. a gallon. Mm -hmm. <laughs> uh, okay. Baby milk gonna be eighty dollars a bottle. Uh, okay, uh, you gonna be robbed blind because it's it's to the point where they feel as though that's the only way that we could be able to get you where you need to go. Yeah. Okay. And honestly, be because they were heading that way, most people would choose to be homeless. There's a, there's a mindset where some people are starting to see and realize, you know what? I don't want to pay to sleep. I don't want to like have to keep paying expenses just to do basic human things. Mm -hmm. You feel me? There's people who would like to take that route of just like nature and being serene. Mm. Right. I think that's why a lot of people or some families, I know like in um, certain different cultures, you know, they live together in strong numbers, you know, for the sake of just survival. You know, you have right. multiple family members that live in one household just to make ends meet, you know, just to avoid from becoming homeless. Yeah, mm -hmm. yeah. I mean, you, you know? can take that to the Mexican family. They live 18 to a house and yeah. have about 20 houses when it's all said. Uh, Hello. I'm trying to tell you. <laughs> they're not even from here, but they know the methods of we have to own land. We got to survive. Right. And the 
an right. LLC to get to what we need. And we're going to make sure that everybody mm-hmm. is a part of it. Lulu, Lulu. Yeah. Um, <laughs> he's on the Miranda, yeah. Yeah. He's on yeah. the yeah. Everybody yeah. in the family is working. And that's yeah. how it should be, though. And if we were more like that, we would be way more successful, oh, too. Yeah. Ooh, but see Absolutely. that but that that even gets that even goes back to talking about cutting us off from our culture yes because that there's a lot of business opportunity that lies in that see y'all are talking real good <laughs> and we only got a certain amount of time <laughs> <laughs> so listen i'm with it thank you for opening up yeah. this topic we are going to talk about this again but listen Y'all, we are going to take another quick break and we're going to hear a word from our sponsors and we'll see you right after then. So a year ago today, I was suffering with postpartum depression. Just had my little girl after almost 10 years actually exactly 10 years of having my son it was tough but she motivated me so i decided to get fit done So I decided to get up every day, look myself in the mirror, no matter what was going on, no matter how I was feeling, I was determined to be a better version of me for not only myself, but my children. is not compatible. I'm thrown off because it looks like my charger. It's the same color as my charger. But it's not been authorized by the manufacturer. And because it hasn't been authorized by the manufacturer, it doesn't have the capacity to charge me up. And too many of you are letting illegal people plug into you who have not been authorized by the manufacturer and you don't understand why they're draining you because that's not who God assigned to your life. We at A. Nicole Entertainment Management Group strive to bring your vision to life by helping serve all the needs to assure you have a successful event or presentation. We specialize in booking venues, managing budgets, negotiating contracts and fees, booking performers, managing events, personal assisting, event branding, and more.
got it over, you know. Of course, you don't know why you're over. But, uh, okay. have a little special, you know, special announcement to make. Okay. Okay. You know, since we're all family and everything. Uh -huh. Right. What's going on? It's like, yeah, you know, uh, we've gotten engaged, you know. Oh! Oh, my God. Yeah. Let me yeah, celebrate. Look. Congratulations. Congratulations. Thank you. Yeah, thank you. What are we oh, celebrating? Yes. Huh? Where are we celebrating that? At, at my house, at our house. Okay. Oh, okay. okay. Yeah, so I want you guys to bring some dishes over and. Um, the best man, right? You know? Hey, that, that, that'll work. That'll work. Yeah, that'll work. Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> you know. You got yeah, enough right? people for your wedding. We're a bachelor party, bro. Hey, man, that's going to be uh, about a. There, there won't be a bachelor party. Okay, my own. Okay. okay. Yeah, we're not doing that. Um, no bachelor? Uh-uh. So you're not having no party either? We are not having a party. Oh, wait, wait. Hey, wait. Hold okay. on, no. No bachelor party? No bachelor red party. Okay, so y'all can talk about yeah. it. Um, <laughs> you know, make it hey, hey, even playing field. Even playing field. We're, but uh, we're talking. Yeah, yeah we, we definitely will do that. Yeah, definitely. Yeah, ladies will figure that out where they're gonna be, well, and uh, we'll bum rush that. Well, so yeah, so whenever you guys come over, bring some dishes. Um, bring your special dish. You know, I know you can cook, girl. I know you be throwing down. So we'll get the date together for the engagement party. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Okay. Well, I will bring me and the plastic wear friend because. I ain't got time to be slaving. We ain't got time right. to be But we will be in attendance. Well, you know your sis only do plastic wear anyway. So. Listen, that's why that's why we're here. Yes, mm -hmm. absolutely. But hey, Trent, I need you to I, I need those cigars, bro. I need to be yeah. yeah, make sure you bring them. You know, we all all the grooms, man. I got you. Yes, sir. I got you. Absolutely. <laughs> yes, and so I um we had the once we, you know, solidify a date, you guys will know, but I didn't tell honey here that we have another date that we want to celebrate. Okay. Oh, what? Yes. Another date. Yes. Well, what do you say? So I he just wanted to. So surprised. Yes, he's gonna be so surprised. So we're gonna have a wedding date to celebrate. Well, okay. Like okay. A wedding date. Bye. So you got a new uh, uh, new car or something? What? What's this? And then we're gonna have a. New a job. First date. Oh my goodness. Oh, yes, oh, a birthday. Oh, oh, oh boy. Hold on. You know, there's more than one way to spell birth. What, what type of birth are you talking about? Wait, what? What type of birth are you talking about? Honey. You know, you I'm, know, you, you, you. I'm I'm late. You what? I'm 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 late, and we're gonna have a birthday. But girl, did you think a birth? Did you think a princess? Yeah. Congratulations, babe. <laughs> You're not excited? Congratulations. You don't look happy, Buzz. What's going on? Uh, hold well, on. Hold, 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 hold. Time out. Time out. Honey, time out. I mean, we've been trying and trying and, and what's, you're I, not excited? I, I, I don't know how this possible. What? I don't well, know how I do. Possible. I know how I, mean. I don't know how this possible. Uh-huh. Do uh, tell. Something I ain't told you. What? I got fixed a long time ago. Oh. My soldiers don't march, baby. <laughs> they don't march. Um. Then I'm going to live left, right, so, forward, or back. Where you at? Yeah, you might have to. Let's go. Um, yeah, I don't have time for this. So, so what are you saying? Like, you, you got fixed? Yeah, 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 yeah. I had a little, uh, little accident uh, early in my, in my years, and uh, it took you, well, uh, it took me out. So, yeah, I can't produce. I'm going um, to just be real. Somebody lying. So, who the back fox? Somebody. Their part. Uh, their part. Uh, <laughs> Are you sure? Because I, I wouldn't dare cheat on you. <laughs> yeah, I'm no, he's not sure. He's because I've been sleeping with him. Oh! And I'm pregnant. No, you didn't. What are you hey, talking about? What is she on, talking about? That's a about? pillow up under there. That's a pillow. Well, hey. What did you just say since you, you that's what? That's a child. You've that's been child. sleeping with him? I just want to thank y'all for inviting me and over. And you're pregnant? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Um, I, I don't know what you're talking about. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, I appreciate y'all. Where did you put my purse? We're sisters. Welcome back, everybody. We just like to have fun here. We just had a little improv session for you all. Um, but I know it's that point in the show, but we are getting to a close. But I want to leave you all with a message. Um, and dealing with religion and spirituality, like I said, there is a lot of tension. But at the end of the day, no matter what you believe, we all, we all believe in something. You know, there's, there should be a uniformity as one as people. You feel me? 
And in dealing with the topic of homelessness, let's just do better. You know, we just found out from Brother Trent right here that Dallas is the highest homeless spot in Texas. You know, that's 20 minutes from my house. You know, I feel like I want to do something about that. So let this let this be an inspiration for you all. And that's your word from Senpai. Don't you just love him? Oh my God. It's amazing. Well, guys, we're at the end of the show. I love the fact that Senpai gets to give you guys some words before we leave up out of here. But the show is ending. And I have to tell you bye. Once again, we are your host. Be pride. TK. Senpai. Me, Aubrey Williams. I'm your moderator. Trent. And my girl Toya. See y'all on the next episode of Straight Up Shop. We love y'all. Bye. Yeah.